what's going on everybody here i am ftg full tilt gaming and thanks for joining us today we are finally looking at a new video like like random to even our live streaming i had some issues with the computer here lately uh trying to get resolved but thanks to the data miners uh there are no parts to resolve it with so sucks to have hardware issues when it's your job and all the data miners have uh you know taken all the pieces so anyway we are uh, back to doing some videos on this, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to do this vid. I uh, found out about this a few days ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to hurry up and do this. This is absolutely fantastic. We are going to teach you guys how to be able to do any kind of single-player sound mod for Truckers MP. That is right. You heard me right. You can now have Zmods N14. You can have Creatures. 3406 you can have uh, robin icus c15 detroit diesel whatever you want uh within reason would now be available to you in tmp so let's look at it real quick uh, i say real quick this is actually a little bit more of a lengthier uh tutorial video but i'm going to try to give you as much information for you guys to be successful um, i hate guys that just give you the bare essentials and then they kind of flaunt the mod in front of you but they don't really tell you how to make it work and so everyone goes back to the video to hear it work and try it work and they get frustrated with it so i'm gonna try to tell you everything so please do not come at me in any point of this video saying that i talk too much that i need to make you drive then you're not watching the right video this is the tutorial video to teach you guys everything you need to know about how to make this work and for you guys to be successful and also take that knowledge and teach someone else share the video and then teach them how to do it all right that's just what this is about it's community stuff you don't want to be the community go somewhere else all right i've said my piece here's what you need plugin files dot zip click this it will download it to your downloads folder i've already got a free copy here downloaded to my desktop so there it is i'm gonna put this in here three links are going to be in the description that is going to be the window i just swung off in front of you we'll also have an ses forums link there for creech bombs um we have one there for Creech Bomb's uh, uh, sound file. WinRAR is an absolute uh, amazing little tool. It is for free, so you don't have to, you know, there it is right there. You can download WinRAR, uh, RAR Lab WinRAR. That's what you're looking for. Download it right here. Click it in. Uh, install it. You are good to go. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off here inside of Windows Explorer. We're going to open up two windows, all right? And I'm this. Just stay with me on this. Hit pause or space bar if you need to 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 do the same thing on your files. I get it. I'm gonna try to talk fast to keep the amount of time that I'm just sitting here kind of talking about nothing, uh, especially with nothing else going on, on the screen. So let's. Uh, so after we do this, hit Control N uh, with the November. Control N. That will open up a new Explorer window. Um, and so we'll have two identical things. First thing you want to do is go down and find your American Truck Sim. Uh, you know, find the exe file. Like if you were hooking up to trucks books or some other type of uh, telemetry programs or stuff, you have to always add these in the plugins and all that other stuff. Uh, so that should be if your files are in a relatively same, whatever your local disk is going to be is probably where most people have their Steam apps. Uh, or if you have it on an SSD, a second M dot, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, program files x86. You want to go to Steam, Steam apps, then you would go to common, American Truck Sim, bin, and Win x64. Now that bakes you back to this this you this plugins uh, not plugins folder, but you should have uh, your American truck with all the F mod, Steam, and all this other stuff already in here. Okay, now let's go back to the other folder, and let's actually uh, where what here it is. There we go. So this is what that extracted will look like. So if you do extract to here plugins, uh, then you'll have this right here is uh, TSF mod plugin and F mod plugin dot DLL. You want to select both of those. You want to control C or you can right click and copy. Go back over to your American Truck Sim folder and we are going to drop these inside of this plugins folder. Now, if you do not have a plugins folder, you just need to create one. Simple as that. All lowercase, just one folder. Just right click, new folder, boom, name it plugins. You're good. If you already have trucks books or you have any type of telemetry files in here from any stuff that you know logs miles for companies, VTCs, it will already be there okay so the two files that you'll need are these two right here you can drag them drop them copy them paste them whatever you do want them inside of here so you have a tsf mod plugin folder here and the plugin.dll file right there now before we get too far 
I want you to do this real quick. I want you to right click on plugins and I want you to pin to quick access. We're going to explain that a little bit later, but just go ahead and do it while you're in this step right now. Pin that to quick access. That means when you drop this down, you'll have a really quick access to this plugin so you don't have to go find your Steam folder uh, and go through all of the rigmarole to get back to your your plugins here with the um, where your when where your actual um, shoot sorry where your uh, exe file is. There we go. I get it out one of these days. All right, so we've got that there. Good. Okay, now inside of the TSF mod plugin folder, I've got obviously a lot of engine banks in here, but the th two files you will have in here by default will be these two: selected bank and sound levels. You need the master bank file out of this other folder. If you are doing this on the ETS side, you want to double click ETS, there's a master bank in there, put the master bank inside the same place in your ETS location. Um, we're going to do ATS obviously because that's what we're in right now. So you'll do the same thing, right click, copy, or you can control C, drag and drop, doesn't matter. Take this, put it over here into um, your other folder where the stuff is and you will put your master bank in right here. Just drag and drop it over so that way you'll have three files. Master bank, select the bank, and sound levels file. Those three things will be in there. Okay, while we're at this point, let's go ahead and let's get some engines in there and then I'll start telling you how to actually get these things inside the game. So, if you've downloaded WinRAR or if you have 7-Zip, none, none the different, they still operate the same. I just like WinRAR better because I know it better. Uh, but this is how you unzip and zip up mods. But the cool thing that Renroar does is allows you to look inside of SES files without actually extracting them and having multiple copies on your PC. You can still copy and paste out of those and still edit those files without ever having to actually unzip them, which I think is absolutely amazing. So we are going to open up um, this uh, sound pack. Now that sound pack was from the engine sound pack uh, share mods file that will be in your downloads folder. So when you double click it, it will look like this coming out of WinRAR. 7-Zip will look a little different, but the concept is still the same. So you still have this Windows uh, up over here. This is the inside of your TSF mod plugin folder. Now inside of this, <clears throat> you'll see the, um, the Creech Bomb 3.5 Mega Pack. You'll go to Sound. You'll go to Truck. And then here's all of these files. Now, if you want to, you can take all of these files and dump them all inside of the FMod plugin. Um, it does not matter. Once you do that, the two things you're going to need is the bank file and the bank.guids. I'll call it the guides file. I have no idea what they want to actually guids. Anyway, if you wanted, let's say, the Detroit 60 from Creech, you select both of these files, Creech Bomb Bank, Creech Bomb Bank guides, drag and drop and put them in here. That's it. That's it. Just drags and drops them right on over. If you want these, Robin Icus has got a good pack. Um, Creech has got a good pack. And there are some other uh, files that you can find you know, scattered all over the mod sites for different trucks. Some trucks have their own sounds. Most of the trucks nowadays, uh, for anything that's updated to 140, most of them are all banking off of the sounds that were already created. Uh, unless you're someone like Zmods, uh, who has got his own stuff. He's got 346 and... Um, I've had mixed, mixed, uh, you know, I've had, I know probably some guys are like, oh my God, I got to get in 14 in there. It does work. It does sound a little different. The concept is still there. Jake break is still there. So if that's really your thing, uh, it'll work. It just doesn't sound quite the same, but it still sounds, it still sounds good. So we just take it for what it's worth. I typically have just done everything though, that works, um, in the default game and was originally kind of made to make the default truck sound better. Okay, the, those sounds, I think, sound the best in this environment. But you guys do what you want to do. You know how to do it. So if you got Zmods, click and drag the bank of the bank gods file over. That's all you got to do. Now, here is the thing that I want to make sure that you guys understand. So the only two files that you need to do to get this to, um, to, get this to actually um, uh, show, this is what you have to do. And this is what some of the other videos completely neglected to tell me. Um, the P389, this is just one sound that we were testing earlier. Um, in the selected bank file, what you need to do, let's, let's just say Rob and I can see 15. We're going to try this one. So we click it. We click it again. It highlights everything up to the period. That's what you want. Control C, select it, whatever. And we'll come over here to your selected dot bank notepad, which is this file right there. You want to double click this. Erase it, and you want to put in the Robin Iga C15139. Do not put the dot bank on there, okay? 
After you've done that, select uh, save it, and that's it. Now, sound levels, uh, if you guys have ever gone into your audio settings, you know that there are four main sliders at the top. Your master, then you've got your engine uh, exhaust slider, and then turbo slider. Those things typically I usually have all the way up. Um, and then you'll find that you have a master file, you have an interior file, an exterior when windows are closed. That exterior is the sound that the exterior makes as it, um, um, the exterior as a, when the windows are rolled up or when they're closed. Um, it has a certain amount of bleed over from the outside that comes in. Um, so you can kind of control that outside bleed over as much as you want to. Um, I've got a little bit in there, so it's, you know, 60%. Uh, exterior, I mean, sorry, interior, uh, I've got a 0.85, uh, you know, whether it's 0.85 or one, I don't know any of that's going to matter, but if you do have an engine sound, you feel like the whistle is way too loud and like it's almost overbearing, um, then take the turbo and then pull that turbo down. Cause that's where the whistle's coming from. That's the sound slider it's coming from. So take that, you know, if it's at 1.0, take it down to 0.75 and see what it sounds like. We'll say that everything you do inside of this file has to be, you have to shut down truckers MP and then restart it up and then you're good to go. And that way it'll load in the new set, the new sound settings for that. So um, I'm going to pull up my master because I want these to uh, say maybe 0.75. I want the master uh, to control these sounds, uh, these sliders. I want that to basically bump everything up 25%. That'll make more sense when I tell you the next two things. First is you remember when we tagged this plugins folder here on our quick access? Here's why we did that. If you were on TMP, you need to have this plugin folder needs to look like this. If you want to do this on single player, you need to have single player needs to have something in front of this. Um, like let's say mm, FTG. Something easy that I can remember. Um, FTG TS FMOD plugin. So well, why do you have to name it? Because if you don't, this plugin will overdub those sounds over everything, single player and multiplayer, since it's not really differentiating between TMP or not. Yeah, I need to do that. If you use single player, you have to name this. That's why I'm like, well, you could do single player. Just roll over your plugins, make a quick change, start the game up, you're done. You don't have to go through all these subfolder sub structures just to try to get here. Um, if you want to go back to MP and take it, we'll left arrow over. We'll delete the first three uh, letters, and then we're back to where we were. Now, this thing will work because the fmod plugin.dll is telling the game, hey, we're looking for this TSF mod plugin. We don't find it, so we're just going to play what was in there. And it says, okay, fine. And then all of your mods will work for single player. And then if you take the, the whatever your prefix off, um, then your TSF mod plugin folder will uh, overdub everything on top of the files just like it's supposed to in MP. All right, so that's, the, that's basically it. So uh, from this, you got to make sure you got selected bank, Make sure you've got the engine that you want. Robin Ica C15, that's the one we're going to give a shot here. Make sure your sound levels are saved to where you want to test them at. Because some engines may be different. I would suggest saving multiples of these. The only file level, though, you can have it here, sound levels, is this. But you can copy and paste this and have one for, you know, a C15, a 3406. You can have a Detroit Diesel. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you get into this, you can have these saved off into a different folder. All right. Um, and that is it, I think. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's test it up. Let's pull up Trickers MP real quick. And there's one thing in there I want to make sure you guys are aware of. And then we'll pretty much be done for the video today. It's only going to be about 15 minutes, which is pretty good. Uh, so here's our, uh, let's go ahead and get in here. Okay. Now, from here, your options for your multiplayer profile. Um, in your multiplayer profile, you want to make sure you go over your audio tab. You want to make sure of these couple of things right here. Make sure that your truck engine is muted, your exhaust engine is muted, and your truck turbo is muted. Reason why those three things have to be muted is because this sound plugin overdubs the default sounds. So whatever your default sounds sound like, you know, we all know what they sound like. Uh, they're not very good. These overdub them. So you can mute them or you can slide the sliders all the way down. It doesn't matter. It's still the same, still the same difference. It's still got to work this way. Um, <clears throat> so whenever you do that, those are the three things you have to do. Everything else stays the same. Um, are your game sounds and all that. So you remember in the, in the plugin, we had selected uh, the selected bank. And then we had those sound levels. Those first ones are this one. Uh, mass, master volume for the mod. Truck engine for the mod. Truck tr turbo for the mod. Um, and then you had interior sounds for the mod. You 
these you can't turn off. If you do turn off, then I think you lose all of these on the interior, but you gain them for the exterior. So it's weird. Uh, but essentially, that's that's what you're doing here. Um, is you're plugging in these these couple of spots right here with that plug-in, and it's taking the bank files and the sound files out of the particular sound engine bank. So it's pretty cool the way it works. Um, so we'll close that down. Let's go ahead and continue game. We'll uh, we'll log in here to TMP, and then we'll uh, give this uh, Robinaka C15. We'll give it a shot. Now it will sound a little cruder inside of this. It's not going to sound exactly the same because you don't have the exact same engine curves and you don't have the same exact um you know sounds and the way they're they're manipulated they're still taking this the default software manipulation for the first files for the default files um so no matter whether or not no matter what the sound plug in or now no matter what the sound engine you're running on the outside it, it doesn't matter in this particular scenario it just doesn't so um it only it only is kind of like i like to call this a generic sound mod for tmp it works perfect it's low impact on the system of course um, which is what you want so here you go robin Ica c15 and there's what she sounds like inside tmp pretty cool ain't it now you will notice that your inside and outside engines do not change they will sound the same and that's just the way it is it, the interesting thing is it it does not seem to matter from the outside it's the same sound down. so if you'll notice you don't have a full 360 f mod experience in this so you know take that for what it's worth okay just it is what it is um so don't anyone complain about it <laughs> because it's the first one we've got uh, and I think this will probably be improved upon. But nonetheless, I know someone's going to ask, well, what does the drag brake sound like? Well, we now have the Robin Ica C15 Jake brake inside of TMP. So, anyway, and also you have the default everything else. So all your switches, your air brakes, all of that kind of stuff, it'll all be the same. Engine startup and startup sounds will all be the same as well. You know, all your switches will be the same. Um, so the only thing you're really subbing out is your engine files. But nonetheless, it's still really good, and it's still awesome. And just remember, your outdoor sounds come in when the windows are rolled down. So if you got the windows rolled up and you're outside the truck, then they're going to still be playing the interior sounds. If you roll that down, then obviously you will hear the exterior sounds. That's just kind of how this plugin works in its framework of how it works with, uh, with TMP using the default FMOD structure. So... Anyway, uh, that's it, man. I hope you guys have fun with this. Um, you know, I would love for you to share this video off, man. Share the video off, and, and um, I'd love to see this one get really big because I'll be honest with you, I love TMP, and I know people razz me all the time. It's like, you don't ever do TMP anymore. Well, uh, for one, computer issues right now are, are, are uh, plaguing me from being able to do that like I would want to. But uh, with all that being said, I still enjoy it. And I think with sound mods, that was the one thing I said, I don't even need anything else. Like I can roll the default trucks. I think the default trucks look great for what they are. Uh, a lot of people base their expensive mods off of the base files. So they must be good for something. Uh, and so I'm like, well, uh, you know, let's, it would be great to even have just sound mods is all we need in there. So TMP, if you're watching this, if you're listening, get some of these guys and get them on board, creating some of this stuff for you guys to get out to the masses. Uh, it would be huge for you guys to be able to offer uh, custom, you know, sound plug-in mods like this and being able to use Creech and Robin Ike and some of these guys do a lot of really good stuff for the community. That is going to be my push and plea to you guys. Um, so I hope that this works really well uh, for all you truckers out there. And uh, make sure you leave it a like, man. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, you know, uh, let me know where you're driving to and from with new with the new custom sound mods. Uh, and hopefully here uh, real soon, I will be seeing uh, you guys a little bit more here on the TMP network. I think it should be fun. So anyway, you guys have a great day. If you got any questions, last minute stuff, throw them in there. I'll answer as many as I can that I don't cover in the video. Uh, we'll see you here in the next video, guys. We'll see you. Peace out.